We are in Backup Exec 2014, and I'm going to show you how to set the backup job defaults. When you go to set up a backup, you have lots of different options when you click on Edit, and here are all your options. But there's a way to set the defaults, so that way you don't have to uh, manually set those options for every single job. They'll automatically default to the settings that you like. So if we click on the upper left hand box and click on configuration settings, we click on job defaults. You, you can set up defaults for each different backup type. Now the most common one is going to be backup to disk, so that's the one we're going to do. So we'll click on backup to disk and then you can see that by default you're going to have a full and incremental backup created when you create a new backup. You can certainly change that if you want and you can change the name of it, you can change the time, you can change the day day of the week, whatever it is you like. You can also submit the job on hold by default if you want. You can go in and change the storage so it uses a specific storage device. You can also set up compression or encryption as well. Now encryption also requires the creation of encryption keys so it takes a few extra steps. You can automatically default the notification if you have recipients set up you can set up a default test run verification you can turn on or off I personally like to turn it off and do test restores on my own you can do a delayed catalog if you want do not run a delayed catalog or immediately run after the backup job is finished that's for the granular recovery technology that backup exec uses you can either turn on or off snapshot technology and you can choose the type of snaps snapshot technology you like some cause problems with some servers and you may want to uh, choose a different option. You can also turn on or off advanced disk-based backup options to spread out the processing over multiple servers. You can change the security, so you can set up a threat con level backup to automatically backup if it reaches a certain level. You can also set up pre and post commands, do file and folder options, enterprise vault, Linux and Macintosh type of backups, Lotus Domino, Active Directory, Microsoft Exchange, You've got lots of different options such as you may want to uh, set up a full or a full copy which is you know, a couple of different types. And what the truncate logs will actually get rid, will flush the logs out for you but the copy will not. You can also, if you have a high availability group, you can also tell it which server to back up from, the passive or the active. Virtual machines, you can uh, choose various different options for those as well, for GRT, Active Directory, Exchange, etc. SharePoint, it has various different options for SharePoint. SQL, NDMP backups, Oracle, archive options and exclusions. You want to automatically exclude certain files or folders. So that is the uh, backup job defaults for the disk-based backup. There are also job defaults as I mentioned earlier for synthetic backup, convert to virtual. The only other one that you may want to do is the exclusion dates, selections, or the schedule. So if you just want to set the, the, the defaults for the schedule you can do it right here. You can also do it within the job itself. So that's how you set up uh, defaults in a backup. And then and when you create a backup, all those defaults will be there uh, so you don't have to go in and customize them in Backup Exec 2014.